Yeah, I can see it now. Having a fun day, stuck in a police car on the FDR. That will get loads of likes. Steele laughed, turning to McCall. Kim giggled, and McCall shot him a burning gaze. You're such an ass, McCall said with almost a whisper. No, just bored. And hungry, Steele said, looking over at the street food vendors. McCall looked back at Kim, who was sitting in the back with her earbuds in, listening to music or watching a film on her phone. McCall had questions for her, but they could wait until they reached the station. Steele had plans for later, plans that could not wait. On the way to the precinct, they had taken Kim Washington to New York Presbyterian Hospital to get her checked out. She had taken quite a beating from Bob, and McCall wondered what other wound she had sustained since she had worked there. McCall had gotten a female uniformed officer to stay with her to make sure she was safe. When Kim was finished, the uniform would bring her to the precinct. McCall didn't want to wait. She was afraid what the doctor might find and give McCall to lose control and beat the shit out of the owner. Steele convinced McCall to go back to the station, for her good and Bob's. The 11th precinct was busier than usual. Hordes of people filled the entranceway, yelling and screaming, mostly abuse. Steele smiled as they entered, think that the last time he had seen this kind of chaos 